All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the first video of 2021. We're going to start it off with another Monster Bass unboxing. This is the January regional box, and today I've got a little helper. It's Maylee. This is Maylee, and we've got a little uh, special guest as well back here, Rena. You can see her taking a nap back there. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. She doesn't want to be in, involved in the unboxing. So, anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and dig right into the box, show you what it's all about. I'm pretty excited. I believe that I saw something about this being a Strike King and a Bio Baits collab box. Anyways, we're gonna get right into it. I got this new knife. My dad got me uh, one of these for Christmas. It's an Outdoor Edge, and uh, anyways, it's pretty cool. It has like a uh, razor blade on it so the blades are interchangeable and it's like a super thin almost like a like a box knife blade and uh anyways it just pops out so when you when your blade gets dull you just switch it out like that pretty cool outdoor edge i don't know check them out we're gonna go ahead and use it to open this box all right guys let's go ahead and dig right into it maybe go ahead and uh pull one out of the box here show it to the camera all right what is it it's, um, crankbait crankbait okay so this is a kvd flat side 1.5 and this is in the Sexy Ghost Minnow. So, this thing, I don't know how deep it dives. Okay, it dives to eight feet. So this would be a nice little wintertime bait. So that's something that I think that we could definitely put to use this time of year. That flat side is gonna give it just a tighter action. It's gonna be kind of a, a natural bait fish presentation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Next one. This is a jig. This is a, this is a, this is a buzz bait. Oh. Okay, this is called the Swinging Sugar Buzz, and it's a half ounce, also a Strike King lure. So I actually have something similar from a local company called uh, Mesu Baits. You can actually get their stuff on Tackle Warehouse. They make jigs and all sort of things. Um, but anyways, they have a similar deal where their hook is actually on a free swinging head there. So I guess the idea is that when this thing is um, just just a better hookup ratio, I guess, is, is really what that comes down to. So when you're, I don't know, January though? January, we're not fishing buzz baits. Definitely not fishing buzz baits in January. That is cool though. <clears throat> so you see this, it almost looks like, you know, a, a bullet weight or something right there, but that's gonna clack on there when that thing is rotating. So it's gonna make a lot of noise. Uh, definitely gonna be a good bait when it's time to fish these things, but we're definitely not fishing them in January. Another thing that I noticed that has a bait keeper on there, so if you want to put like a swim bait trailer or a frog trailer or something on there, I do, I, I like this thing. Um, I haven't got a chance to throw that Mesu Baits one that's on a similar um, free swinging setup like that very much, so I, I actually haven't put any fish in the boat um, with that setup yet, but I do like the idea. I have caught fish on the Mesu like swim jigs and um, they even have shaky heads that I've caught a lot of fish on over the years that have a similar concept. So, I like that. That is, uh, what did I say? That's the Swinging Sugar Buzz. And the, no, oh, I don't know what the color is. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is... This thing looks really weird. Infused with fish oil. 
Is this one that you gotta actually, yeah, you gotta tear it open. I'm tearing it open. Okay, so it's uh, just a little fluke. Kind of smells sweet. Yeah, sweet and sour. But it's like a watermelon seed with red flake, and it's just like a little, a little fluke. <clears throat> Sit down. I kind of have an idea. I just purchased some Battle Baits Hilo heads. They're these little swim bait heads, and they've got a little prop on them. Uh, they have like a little tail. Yep, it's got a little fork tail there. And this where the hook goes. That's right. That's impressive. Good job, sis. Yeah, these looked weird in the package. They were all like stuck together and stuff. That's probably the uh, the fish oil. They definitely did not look like food style baits when I pulled them out. So these are from from BioBait. And I don't see I don't see a name, but we all know they're basically flukes. The next one's this. Okay. Okay, let's open it. See what it is. Can you like say that a little? Can I open it? Guys, go lay down. We got my nose in this day. Oh, yeah. Ooh, what is that? Um, this That is... kind of looks like one of our little wormies in the It's oil bridge, huh? on it. There's oil, see, from mm -hmm. my hand. It almost looks kind of like a, a leech presentation. Yeah, right? So, and Maylee just started raising some worms on her own, and uh, um, so you know how sometimes the wormies look flat like that? Yeah. They're not always like round, sometimes they look flat like that. Um, so like... This would be good to like drop shot. Yeah, that second. So... Definitely you, gonna try these out. So up. you put the poop from here, then it goes all the way down here, the... Hook it. The fish on it. Yeah. I think we'll drop shot that one. And I'll show you what the pictures. There's pictures right there. Shows you how to hook it. Says yeah. wacky, weedless. Well, I don't know. That doesn't seem to be very helpful. I'm showing different baits. The next is this. Uh, they are like flat, like worms. Well, those aren't flat. Like, they're like wiggly. They're round. Yeah, and they're round like the worms nearly are. Yeah, these are just the standard Senko style stick bait, stick worm, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, I'm curious to see how that fish oil I know I normally use worms with like I, open it. I normally use worms with like garlic scent or you know something like that so this is a little bit different that's flat this thing is razor sharp <laughs> Did I cut it enough? There you go. You open it. It's like hard for my little nose that I open it. This is um like it's round and it's it's still it's oily. It's oily and I think you like 
put the hook in right here, then you it goes down here, and you hook the fish in its mouth. And they will bite it like this. Then they will think it's a wormy, then they, they stay on there, then they, the daddy works it in. <laughs> daddy reels it in. Yeah. Yeah, these look like they have some, they'll probably have some pretty good action. Definitely have to wacky rig these or... I don't ever Texas rig a worm, ever. So, these maybe I'll try that. Look at these. They are hooks for them. Are they for the wormies? Yeah. Yeah, so and this would be good for like Texas rigging the And it's worms. red. This is a uh, four of the uh, four aught Daiichi hooks. It's a sticker for yeah. a boat. Where you can put it on a fridge. Ooh, where do you think Dad's gonna put it? On the fridge. <laughs> on the fridge. Where you can put Back it on. Back up, because they might not be able to see you right now. Where? Back up. Where it can go on Dad's window on the back. It looks like uh, this is the sticker as well. Hashtag Freedom Toss. So maybe I need to take a picture of me tossing the fish back? I don't know. I'm not sure who this guy is, but Freedom Toss. Alright, what are we looking at, girl? It's an, oh yeah, let's not do that. Okay, this is a 3XD. So, this is going to dive 10 to 12 feet, and this is a yellow perch color. I guess we'll go ahead and open it. My dad was doing it. Since Maylee just couldn't wait. Hold on, I don't want you to get a hook in your face or your finger. Or... I don't get it. Wow, look at that. See, this is another thing, like, I've gotten a lot of yellow perch baits. Um, and it's because I'm in the Northwest Pacific Mountain Prairie region or whatever. Uh, but I'm in Kansas and we don't have any yellow perch. I heard there's one lake in the entire state that has yellow perch, but I have never caught a yellow perch in my entire life. Not saying that the fish won't bite this and you know, maybe it resembles a bluegill or whatever else. Um, but anyways, just for what it's worth, you know, we don't have any yellow perch here. And it has like green and yellow eyes. Like, can't really tell. Yeah, See? got a little orange on the belly. Yeah, and it has like black stripes and it's green. And, and that right there is white. Yep, all right. Put it up. Get the next one. Okay. Oh, this is what is? This is a Strike King Red Eye shell. It's a Strike Cream Red. And this is a sexy blue back herring. I think most of them do have red eyes, but that one doesn't actually have red eyes at all, does it? No. Yeah. Let me and it's see. a half ounce weight. Do you want me to open it? No, it's okay. I think most of the people know, you know, this is a pretty uh, household name as far as lipless crankbaits go. It's, you know, a lot of people's favorites. Um, I haven't thrown a lot of them, to be honest with you. Actually, I don't know if I ever have or if I've ever even bought one. So, like I said, I do like the Strike King stuff, but I don't know that I've ever thrown a red eye shad. Look, so, definitely there's going some to. in here. Does it tell you what baits we got in here? The Swinging Sugar Buzz, $7.99. The Red Eye Shad, $7.99. The 3XD, $6.99. Um, we didn't get the Comeback Jig. We did get the KVD 1.5 flat side for $7.49. Okay, the BioBait Leech, so it was a leech, $5.99. Uh, 
the BioBait Stinko, $5.99, and the BioBait Switchback for $5.99. Okay, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the Strike King BioBait Takeover box, uh, Monster Bass box. This is the January 2021, and uh, I know I've been slacking on the fishing videos here lately, but Maylee, I think she wants to get out and do some fishing as well, so hopefully we'll get on the water. Uh, just been kind of busy. We've got sports and all kinds of things going on. Plus, the weather's pretty cold, and uh, the fishing's not real great. So, anyways, we'll get out there. We'll try some of these baits out. I've still got some baits from some of the previous boxes tied on, so hopefully we can just knock them all out in the next trip. But anyways, guys, uh, Maylee, do you have anything? Yes. Um, thanks for watching. Give this, give this um, video a thumbs up and like this video. Bye. Bye.